Summary of Barn Burning by William Faulkner Barn burning starts in a general store that is being used as a courtroom. Colonel Sartoris Sardi Snopes, who is usually just called the boy, is 10 years old and is crouched in the back, barely able to see his father, Abner Snopes, and his neighbor, Mr. Harris, who has filed a complaint against Abner. Harris says that Abner let his pig into his yard more than once. When Harris finally kept the pig and told Abner he had to pay to get it back, Abner allegedly set fire to his barn that night. Harris wants Sardi to talk because he doesn't have any real proof. Sardi gets scared when he realizes he will have to lie to defend his father, but Harris changes his mind. The justice says he can't find Abner guilty, but advises him to leave town, Abner says he was planning to anyway. When Abner, Sardi, and his brother go outside, his mother, aunt, and two twin sisters are waiting in the wagon with their few belongings. They stop for the night and start a small fire. Abner pulls Sardi aside and accuses him of trying to turn him in to the justice during the trial. He hits Sardi on purpose, but without anger, and tells him that being a man means being loyal to one's own blood. The family moves into a two-room house the next day, just like all the other places they have lived. Abner tells Sardi to go with him to the main house, where the Major de Spain lives and is his boss. When Sardi sees the mansion, he feels a rush of happiness because he thinks his father won't be able to damage it. But as Abner marches up to the house, he seems to step in horse droppings on purpose. A black servant opens the door and says the Major isn't home, but Abner brushes past him and stamps his foot on the fancy imported rug, soiling it. He goes back the way he came, and Sardi follows him. When they leave, he laughs at the fact that black workers built this house. Later that day, the servant brings the rug to the Snopes family's house to be cleaned. Abner tells the two sisters to clean it, which they do grudgingly and slowly. He then puts a piece of stone in the homemade lye to make sure that it will leave stains on the rug. The major comes back to the house and tells Abner, almost in shock, that he ruined a $100 rug. Since Abner will never be able to pay that much, the major will charge him 20 bushels of corn against the next crop. The rest of the week, Sardi works hard. On Saturday, his father tells him to get the wagon ready. He takes his two sons to another courtroom. Sardi is confused, and he tells the justice that his father didn't burn anything. His father tells him to leave, though. Instead, however, he remains at the back of the courtroom, where he can see the Major de Spain, incredulous that Abner has dared to sue him for charging him the bushels of corn. The justice rules against Abner, but he thinks that 20 bushels is too much for a sharecropper, so he changes the amount to 10. After the trial, Abner takes the boys to the blacksmiths, where he lies to the shop owner about his past life as a horse trader. He buys the boys some cheese, then takes them to a horse lot, where he watches the horses and comments on them. They finally return home. Soon, however, Sardi hears his mother's cries, and realizes that his father is filling a kerosene can with oil. He tells Sardi to get more oil from the stable, and even though Sardi doesn't want to, he can't stop himself from running to get it. Once he gets back, he begs his father to send someone to warn the major, just like he did the last time. His dad tells Sardi's mom and aunt to hold him back. They do this, even though the aunt says that if Sardi isn't let go, she'll go up to the main house herself. Sardi finally gets away from his mother's grip and runs up to the main house, where he yells barn, in the major's face before turning around and running away again. He hears the major on his horse behind him and waits in a ditch for him to pass, then he continues to run, this time away from his house, as he's running he hears one shot, then two, and begins to cry out for his father. He keeps telling himself that his father was in the war, but he doesn't know that his father only did it for himself. Cold and grieving, Sardi prepares to continue walking away from his home and family. About the author William Faulkner grew up in Oxford, Mississippi, with a family that had been in the American South for generations. During World War I, he served in the Air Force. After that, he went to school at the University of Mississippi, though he never graduated. He started out writing mostly poetry, and in 1924, he put out a book of poems called The Marble Fawn. 
He worked at a store and for a newspaper for a while. But he is best known for his fiction. His golden period ran from 1929, when The Sound and the Fury came out, until 1942, when Go Down, Moses was published. Most of the works Faulkner wrote during this time show how interested he was in the past, especially the past of the South, the way history affects individuals, and the dark, immoral, or amoral attitudes of the downtrodden. During this time, Faulkner also wrote screenplays for Hollywood to make money for himself and his family. But Faulkner lived in Oxford, Mississippi, for almost all of his life. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1950, and his speech accepting the award is thought to be one of the best ever given. At the age of 64, he had a heart attack after falling off a horse. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.